Hello everyone, my name is Tiffy and today I am super excited because we are going to be making a gender reveal cake for my baby. Now if you haven't seen the actual gender reveal video, make sure to check that out. I will put it on the screen right here because we're gonna have spoilers ahead. So today I thought we would make a funfetti cake and we're going to color it inside the color of the gender. On the outside of the cake, I am going to create an ombre effect with the frosting from blue to pink so that our guests, which are our family, have no idea what the gender is inside until we cut a slice in the cake. Now I haven't made a cake in a really long time, so I am following a recipe from tasty.co. I will put links in the description. I'm a little bit nervous as well because I haven't decorated created a cake in a very long time. I actually had to buy some more cake supplies just for this video. So we will see how it goes. So first things first, let's get started on the cake. So in a large bowl, I'm gonna combine the flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. Whisk it together and set it aside. I actually just reorganized my pantry, so it's really nice to be baking with it all organized. Next, I'm going to add my sugar, my light brown sugar and my two sticks of butter inside a mixing bowl and we're going to mix those together and we're gonna to beat that together with an electric mixer for about four minutes. Then we're gonna add our egg and egg yolk one at a time, beating in between each addition. I have my mixer on a medium speed. Once I've added all of the egg yolks, I'm beating it for an additional three to five minutes so it's nice and fluffy. So I'm gonna be making one substitute for this recipe instead of using vegetable oil. I'm substituting it for coconut oil. So I already have my coconut oil melted and we're gonna combine that with our buttermilk and our vanilla extract in a small bowl. All right, so with the mixer on a low speed, I'm going to add one third of the flour mix into this batter. I think I'm just gonna spoon it in. Before it's fully combined, add half of the mixture that we just made. Oh, the coconut oil is hardening, so let's get some of that in there. And then it says to repeat those steps. So I'm gonna add the rest of the flour and then the rest of the buttermilk. And then it says to blend until no lumps remain. I'm gonna pick up the speed on this. I feel like there's gonna be lumps from the coconut oil though. Hopefully it works. <laughs> Do you wanna be the batter taster? Sure. I can't, cause you know. Can't have raw things. Yeah, let's try this. It looks like you got a clump of coconut oil. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay. The batter taster approves. We haven't even added any fun in it. We gotta add a little fun. It's a fun fetty cake. Since this is gonna be a three layered cake and I need to color each layer a different shade of blue, I think what I'm gonna do is add in the sprinkles last. We're gonna divide this up into three different bowls and we're gonna add the color and then we're gonna add the sprinkles because I feel like if I add the sprinkles now, it'll just turn into mush once I add the actual color. Let's divide this up into three and then we're gonna dye it the color of the baby's gender. Have you guessed it? Have you guessed yet? What color it's gonna be? <laughs> All right, I have all the dough separated into three different containers and I actually just posted on Instagram a picture of the pink and the blue dye and I wanted everyone to guess which color I'm gonna be using today. Are we going girl or boy? So here are the results from that poll. I hope you all guessed correctly. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you got it right or not. But yes, we are gonna be using you guessed it, the blue dye. See you later, pink. Maybe next time. I'm gonna start off by adding just a little bit of this gel-based dye, uh, and we're just gonna mix it in. So let's see what colors we get. It's kind of looking green, because the actual batter has a little bit of yellow to it. <laughs> this definitely looks green. We're having a Shrek. <laughs> We'll see by adding more blue to this one to see if it actually looks blue. So I'm gonna try to get like a clump in here. All right, and we can always add more if we need to. It's best to start off small first. The very, very last one is gonna be the dark one. Now we get to add the fun. 
to our funfetti cake. So I'm gonna take this half a cup and we're gonna distribute it between all three of them. And we're just gonna lightly fold it in. And I should probably preheat my oven right now. So I'm gonna do that. A little fun for you. A little fun for you. <laughs> a little bit for me. <laughs> oven is on for 350. We're gonna fold these in gently into the batter. Just kind of fold it in, you know, tuck it in like a little baby, like the little tuck tuck. Tuck tuck. All right, so I have a little issue. I only have two nine inch pans, so it's gonna slow down the process a little bit, but that's okay. I went ahead and sprayed them with some nonstick cooking spray, and we're gonna go ahead and add in our batter. Let's give it a nice shake and pound. All right, so the recipe calls for 30 minutes, but that's with three pans in the oven. Since we're only doing two, I'm gonna do 25 minutes, and I'm going to check how good they cooked or baked by sticking a toothpick in the lightest one. So let's go ahead and add these. And I'm going to alternate halfway through from the middle rack to the top rack and just swap them out so they get baked evenly. Let's do this. It's a new bright and shiny day here in my kitchen and I actually had to run to the store because my buttercream was a little bit too yellow and the color was not coming out how I wanted it to. I tried everything to salvage it, but ultimately I decided to just get a different brand of butter because who knew that butter comes in different shades of yellow? I wish I would have known this before making the cake because I do feel like it's gonna be a little bit on the greener side, but I ran to the store and picked up some more butter. Uh, this one that I'm using in particular is Land O'Lakes and it is, you can tell, a lot whiter than the Kerrygold that I was using, so we're gonna make some new buttercream. So I decided to mix it up and try a different recipe. I looked online and found a bunch of different ones and ultimately decided to go with one that used shortening because I feel like it's gonna have like a creamier consistency. So let's go ahead and try it out. So the recipe I'll link down below, we're using one cup of butter, one cup of shortening, and I believe it's gonna be seven cups of powdered sugar, a lot more powdered sugar this time. So let's get going on this buttercream frosting. I'm gonna start off by adding my butters. These are softened and we're gonna whip them for 10 minutes with the shortening. Ooh, look how white the shortening is. That makes me very happy. Okay, time to mix them together. I also read online on a bunch of different recipes that the secret of getting really white buttercream is to whip the living daylight out of it to get more air into it. So once we start incorporating the powdered sugar, we're gonna really whip it good. Now we're gonna add the powdered sugar and we're gonna add this slowly. And in between adding the powdered sugar, I'm gonna whip it on the highest speed for like 10 seconds to get a lot of air into it. And we're gonna repeat that whole process for four cups. All right, so all of the powdered sugar is incorporated. I am wiping down the sides and then we're gonna mix it just a little bit and then we're gonna add our, um, it calls for vanilla extract, but vanilla extract has a little bit of color to it. So I'm going to switch to almond extract just to add a little bit of extra flavor into this. Okay, so I'm gonna do, it calls for two, teaspoons we're gonna just swap it out to two teaspoons of almond and then this recipe also calls for hot water i'm just gonna follow the recipe all right so once we add our hot water then we're going to beat it again for 10 minutes to get it light and fluffy i really hope this comes out on a medium high speed It's been 10 minutes. My little mixer has never worked so hard. It's actually pretty hot right now. But this frosting is amazing. Okay, oh, look at how white it is. Look at how fluffy it is. It like got bigger. All right, now we're going to make some colors. So the one that I saw on Pinterest that I'm referencing went from blue to white to pink and I thought that we would make two different variations of the blue and two different variations of the pink 
keep some white for the center so we could get a nice gradient around the whole cake and then maybe we'll pipe some stuff on the bottom if we have enough frosting. Also, sorry you guys can't see the bump today. You know, I was feeling real cute yesterday and today I'm just feeling chill, but I'm still feeling pretty cute. If you didn't notice, we're repping our IS Cupquake collab that we did with Strawberry 17. I'll model it for you. Bam. Bam. Two-tone leggings. Two-tone sweats. Sweats. What? Leggings. You mean I could be comfy and cute? Excuse me. We do have some sets available, so make sure to head over to our store, iscupquake.com. Link will be in the description. Check out what else we got. All right, so we've got our super light pink. We have our like light pink that's a little darker. We have our darker blue and we have our lighter blue and then the whites in here it's time to decorate all right let's hope this goes smoothly <laughs> starting with the darker blue let's put a couple dollops up there it looks so pretty Ooh, i just had enough to cover the top i'm gonna work on this one slower because i need to put it just in a row so we're gonna blend this afterwards too this is this is an art this is a work of art i'm just working slowly <laughs> this is something new to me i'm not trying to pretend like i know what i'm doing i have no idea what i'm doing i did watch a couple youtube videos so i'm a visual learner white layer I might just actually have to blend it like this. And I'm gonna wipe it each time because you don't wanna contaminate the white. Oh. <laughs> okay. We're not done yet, we're not done yet. Now I can start doing the pink. This next part I'm a little nervous for. That was awesome. Whoa! This looks very cool. I think what I'm gonna do is add a texture all around because it'll make it look like it's blended more. And since this is my first time ever doing this, um, you won't be able to see all of the little mistakes, but we gotta do the same thing to the top. Okay, I'm gonna kinda do a little touch up to the top here. Yes, beautiful. That looks so good. Hey, you done this before? No, never. I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> I just might mess it up here, but I'm gonna take it a step further. I'm gonna use a knife, a butter knife. I don't have um, like a thinner one of those spatulas, but I wanna put some texture all the way around. So we're gonna try that. Wow. Okay, I could be done here, but I wanna take it a little step further because, you know, we're being extra with this cake and I'm actually having a lot of fun doing this. So so I think the cake is a little blue heavy. Um, so we are going to pipe some pink at the bottom. I think I did it. I think I did it. <laughs> you did it. This is so good. I'm literally speechless. This turned out so beautiful, at least on the outside. <laughs> I can't guarantee how it's gonna look on the inside for the actual reveal because, you know, the whole butter incident, but um, I think it came out gorgeous. And you know what? We learned from our lessons. Now we know to choose the right butter if you're making a gender reveal cake. Now you don't have to make the same mistake I did. And the moment we've all been waiting for, let's see what this cake actually looks like inside. Okay, it's time to cut the cake. We'll see. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> I'll show you the votes. Here are the oh. votes. <laughs> Girl is in the lead. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> Time for the gender to be revealed <laughs> to our family. So we're gonna cut it like this. Here, let's do it yeah. together. Okay. 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 Ready? 
And then we'll turn it a little, so. Ooh. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna wipe this when it comes out, <laughs> see if there's any color. Oh. Right. Okay, oh, no, no color. color. No color. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. And if it's brown, it's just this color of their, you know, our you know baby skin. So, <laughs> so you guys know, it could be a little burnt. Ooh, a little hard. brown baby. Okay. All right, here it is. What is it? All right, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. One. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy? Yeah. Here, I can get it. Oh, I get it. Ready? Got it? Yeah. Two. It's, it's raising the whole thing. Oh, 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 baby. You yes. get it, you get it, you get it. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. so freaking cute like I don't know how much a cake like this would cost but one million dollars <laughs> I'm pretty proud of myself and to say that we are why well, I made my first baby's gender reveal cake is so special well I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to leave a like on the video also check out more pregnancy content there's a ton of it on the channel live we also have more content on our Mario and Tiffy channel where we make content together as husband and wife but thank you guys so much for watching this was really fun to make I haven't had this much fun making a cake in a really 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 long time because I think I've only made one cake in my whole entire life. <laughs> uh, but this was seriously so much fun. Let me know if you wanna see more and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.